There's a bright red tractor on Spring Hill Farm Who's always hard at work or play If Farmer Fee's got a problem or a job to be done It's Tractor Tom that saves the day It's Tractor Tom One hot day at Spring Hill Farm, Fee and Tom were hard at work. Phew! The sooner we get this haystack built, the sooner we can go and cool down. All right, I'm tired too. Come on, Tom, nearly there. Not everyone was working. Wheezy was still tired after the harvest. The hens were exhausted from laying their eggs for the day. And Purdy just liked sleeping. She was too lazy even to snore. But their afternoon sleep didn't last long. Hi, everyone. It was Matt in his pickup truck, Rev. Who wants to see my fantastic new mobile phone? Oh, be like that. Has anyone seen Fee? <coughs> All right, go back to sleep. That's the last one, Tom. So be careful or the whole stack will fall down. Come on, Tom. You can do it. I wonder where Fee's got to. <laughs> Slow down, Tom. It's too hot to rush around. <laughs> What's wrong? Overheating? <laughs> hey, put me down! <laughs> oh, no! Was Fee on the haystack? She could be anywhere. I know. I'll ring her on my new mobile phone. There. I can hear it. Careful, Tom. We don't want to hurt her. It's a scarecrow. Oh, it's Fee. Thank you. Back in the barn, everyone was dozing off again, or trying to. <laughs> Tom drove Matt and Fee back to the farmhouse, and no one noticed that the sheep were heading for the hay. The ducks still couldn't find anywhere to settle. Back at the farmhouse, Matt told Fee about his new mobile phone. It's really small and light, but the best thing is you can record any ringtone you like. Oh no, I've lost it. <laughs> Let's do what you did to find me. I'll call your phone and you listen for the ringtone. I can't hear it. You must have dropped it somewhere outside. But the sheep had made their own ringtone. <laughs> Fee and Matt looked all over the farm. 
but they couldn't hear the phone anywhere. But Fee did see the sheep. They're eating all my hay! In the barn, the duck still couldn't find anywhere to sit. It's no good. We've looked everywhere. I'm never going to find it. It must be somewhere. <laughs> Try calling your number again. I can't hear it. Can you? No. Be quiet, Mo. Mo, shush. It's no good. It's gone. Tom thinks he can find it. There's no point, Tom. Is it in Moe's field, Riff? <laughs> I'll call the number again. <laughs> Tom, what are you doing? Hey, put me down. I don't know what's got into you two. We're looking for Matt's phone. We haven't got time to play games. Let's go. This is terrible. I need that phone. I know, but we've looked everywhere. It really is lost. Finally, Whack and Back found a place where they weren't annoying anyone. Tom was tired after his long hot day, but he still noticed that something about Whack just wasn't right. So he blew his horn. And then he knew where the phone was. Tom, what is it? <laughs> he wants us to try the phone again. <laughs> All I can hear is whack and back. There's no phone, Tom. Tom had an idea. If he woke Purdy, she would chase the ducks. That's weird. The ducks have gone, but I can still hear them. Over here. It's your phone! Hello? Hi, Matt. Why is your phone quacking? It must have recorded Wax voice by accident. No wonder we couldn't find it. But Tom could. And I know of a way to say thank you. What? It's a surprise. So Matt drove home with his new mobile phone safe and sound. And Fee gave Tom a good long shower. That's better. I think it's time we gave Matt his surprise, don't you?
What's that noise? Dum, 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 dum. Is it a car? Dum, 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 dum. Is it a plane? Dum, 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 dum. No, it's my mobile phone. Hi, Fee. Hi, Matt. It's me and Tom. We hope you like your new ringtone. Yes, I'll keep this one. It'll remind me of all the help Tom gave me. Bye. I don't need a ringtone to tell me how much help you are, because I know already. We couldn't do it without you. It was a quiet day at Spring Hill Farm. Fee and Matt were loading apple boxes onto Tom's trailer. Right, that's all done and we've got no other jobs to do today. I'd go home and watch TV, but mine's broken. We could make our own entertainment for a change. What do you mean? Instead of TV, we could both put on a show. What sort of show? I've had an idea, but I'm not telling you yet. <coughs> oh, Purdy. It's like magic the way she can appear from nowhere. That's an idea. I'll do a magic show. Purdy wasn't happy. She had an itch on her back that just wouldn't go away. <laughs> Fee set to work on her... Shush! It's a secret. Let's get started, Riff. <laughs> Go away! Matt started to practice his magic tricks. I've got absolutely nothing up my sleeve. <laughs> well, they weren't up my sleeve. Rev told Tom he could do a magic trick too. <laughs> He made all the animals disappear. Rev thought this was very funny, but Tom knew he'd be the one who'd have to find all the missing animals. Purdy was still trying to scratch her back. Tom started by looking for the hens. And with one wave of my magic wand... Amazing! Oh, they weren't supposed to appear. Tom tried the same trick with the flower pots, and it worked. <laughs> was busy with... Go away. I told you it's a secret. And for the lady, a beautiful bunch of roses. They smell... <coughs> like they've been under my jacket for too long. Next, Tom found the ducks. <coughs> Purdy finally found the perfect place to scratch her back. It was the highest branch of the very tallest tree on the farm. Tom had found all the missing animals, except for Snicker. Winnie didn't know where he could be. Tom knew how to find him. And with my magic spoon, I'll make this teapot rise into the air. Oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Should have emptied it first. <laughs> Poor Snicker was stuck in the mud. Purdy got rid of her itch. The only problem she had now was how to get down. But nobody heard Purdy's calls for help, because finally it was time to find out what Fee's secret was. So what's the big secret? Watch this. You mean the sheep? Look what I've taught them. that. Oh, I will. You ain't seen nothing yet. Tom, can you get everyone on the farm back to the barn? I want a huge audience for Matt the Magnifico's marvellous manifestation of magic. <laughs> Tom realised that someone else was missing. Where was Purdy? Tom looked everywhere for Purdy. Now, which saucepan is my mobile phone under? It's not this one. Or this one, so it must be. Oh, dear. <laughs> is this what you're looking for? My next trick is the amazing vanishing duck. <coughs> now you see her. Now you don't. <coughs> you see two of her. Hmm. I'll try a card trick. Something that the dancing sheep had done gave Tom an idea. <laughs> All right, very funny. Who's got my cards? <laughs> Look what you've done to them. It's like Purdy does to the carpets. Wait a minute. Where is Purdy? I don't know. I've just realised I haven't seen her all afternoon. You didn't make her disappear, did you? <laughs> no. I hope she's all right. I think we should go and look for her. She really has disappeared. We need some real magic now. <laughs> well done, Tom. That was the most fantastic piece of magic I've ever seen. Tom's done the best of all. But you know what? Rev's got this great trick. He can make every animal in the farmyard disappear. Show her, Rev. Oh, dear. Tom's definitely the winner. Hey, you know the bad thing about this trick of Tom's? What? We have to load all those boxes back onto his trailer again. We'll be here till the middle of the night.
what have we started, Riff? The sheep are having a disco. Can't someone stop them dancing, please? It was a lovely autumn morning at Spring Hill Farm, but it looked as if it was going to be one of those days. For a start, Wheezy was feeling sorry for himself. He'd finished harvesting the wheat, and now he was back in the barn again, with nothing to do. Tom tried to cheer him up. But it was no good. Wheezy was feeling a little bit useless. Over in the farmhouse, Fee was having trouble with Purdy because, like a lot of cats, she was a very fussy eater. Here, Purdy, breakfast time. What's the matter? You've always liked this cat food. I bought it specially. Oh, honestly, Purdy. Here, have some milk instead. Don't tell me you've gone off milk too. Well, you'll just have to have something later. I'm meeting Matt in the orchard. We've got a lot of apples to pick today. Hi, Fee. Whoa, we've really had a bumper crop this year. I know. We'd better get started. Yeah, I'm ready for a cuppa. Go ahead. I'm just going to pop back to the house to feed Purdy. Or try to, anyway. Look, Purdy, lovely sardines. How about some kippers? Oh, Purdy, you really are a fuss pot. Meanwhile, Tom checked on Wheezy. He was still bored and fed up. Tom wished he could think of something to keep the old combine harvester occupied. Tom! But just then, Fee called him to take her back to the orchard. Wheezy decided to take a nap. For now, but there's still plenty more. I know. I hope we'll be able to sell them all. You'd better take Rev's load to the market and see how you get on. We'll put the rest in the barn for the moment. OK, Fee. See you later. Right, Tom. Let's get back. I've just thought of something Purdy always likes. A 
lovely saucer of cream, your favourite. Oh no, surely you haven't gone off cream too? Meanwhile, Tom had unloaded all his boxes of apples. There were so many of them that they even had to put some on Wheezy. Poor Fee. Purdy was being fussier than ever. Cabbage? Baked beans? Mushrooms? No. Oh, I give up. Wheezy was still enjoying his nap. And although he didn't know it, he was making rather a mess. Farmers have got loads of apples this year, so there's no point in me taking any more to market. Oh dear, what are we going to do? I don't know, Fee. Well, I've got to feed the chickens. I'll call you later, OK? OK. Matt was about to go home, but Tom stopped him. <laughs> he had an idea, but he needed Matt's help. What's up, Tom? <laughs> You want me to look in the barn? Whoa, what a mess! How did this happen? And then Tom started to tell Matt his great idea. Oh, I get it. All right. Hmm, maybe. Let's give it a try. What on earth's going on in the barn? Matt wanted to surprise Fee with Tom's idea, so he told Rev to try and keep her out of the way. Don't be silly, Rev. Why can't I go in? What do you mean it's dangerous? What's Matt doing in there? Making you a new exhaust pipe? Well, I suppose your old one is a bit noisy. All right then, I'll see you later. Inside the barn, everyone was very busy. Let's see if it works. Yes! Come on, Rev. There's something fishy going on and I want to know what it is. It's OK, Fee. You can come in now. Presenting the Wheezy Special Mark 1 Apple Juice Making Machine. Oh, Matt, that's brilliant! Now we'll be able to use up all the extra apples. Don't thank me, thank Tom. It was his idea. So, thanks to Tom, everyone was happy. Matt was off to the market with loads of lovely apple juice. Wheezy was feeling useful again. And Fee didn't have to worry about all her apples going to waste. The only thing she had to worry about 
was Purdy. It was lambing time at Spring Hill Farm. Tom and Fee had come to feed the sheep. Where have they gone? <laughs> oh no! Someone's left the gate open. <laughs> One sack of flour for you, Rev. <laughs> and some jars of honey for the little guy. Can you manage that? <laughs> Excuse me, phone. Hello? Okay, I'll look behind the barn. Fee's lost the sheep. Again. <laughs> Rev teased Buzz that he was too small to carry a proper load. Buzz said that he might be small, but he was much faster than Rev. Rev didn't agree. So, they decided to have a race. Out, all of you. You should be looking after your lambs. Buzz and Rev were ready to race. Ready, steady, go! Your mum. <coughs> you must be hungry. Let's take you back to the farm and find you some milk. Buzz and Rev finished their race and then started to argue about who had won. <coughs> That's not your mummy, that's Tractor Tom. How come Tom's gone white? It must be dust or something. It wasn't one of you two playing games. Hmm, it's a mystery then. Well, there's no time to solve it now. The lamb needs some milk. Come on, little one. <laughs> Buzz and Rev knew why Tom had turned white, and they thought it was very funny. She won't drink it. She wants her mum. No, she wants Tom. She thinks Tom really is her mum. Well, it's an easy mistake to make. She's only a baby. We need to find her real mother now. I'll do that. I'm good with sheep. There you are. Go and find your mum. Hey! 
way! Wrong way! Wherever Tom went that day, the little lamb was sure to go. And there was nothing Matt could do. And I am trying. That's your mama. Ow! You are a lamb, not a tractor. You eat grass. You do little lammy jumps in the air. And come with me. You drink water from the river. Help! I give up. Go and be a tractor. <laughs> <laughs> and who's been chucking rubbish in the river? I don't believe it. It's a pram. Buzz and Rev were still arguing about who had won the race. The only way to decide was to have another race. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What happened to you? I fell in the river. Why? It's that lamb. She's driving me mad. I thought you said you were good with sheep. But I'm rubbish with sheep who think they're tractors. Never mind. I've had an idea. Come on, Tom. I need your help. <coughs> Don't be like that. <coughs> Tom, I want you to stay here with your little lamb. <coughs> it's just till she gets used to being with the other sheep. <coughs> I think you make a wonderful mummy. See you later. <laughs> Buzz and Rev were ready to race again. This time, they'd find out who really was the fastest. <laughs> You've got that flour and honey that I loaded up, have you? No, I haven't seen it. That's odd. Buzz, Red, stop! I knew they were up to something. joined in the race too. What's got into them? Tom, what are you doing? He was rescuing the lamb. Well done, Tom. not white anymore, so the lamb doesn't think he's a sheep. But how's she going to find her real mother? Now I've got an idea. <laughs> Matt, where did you get that pram from? I found it in the stream. And that's your brilliant idea, is it? No, this is my idea. A sheep tractor. That is the worst idea I've ever heard of. <laughs> you were saying? Maybe you are good with sheep, Matt. You found the lamb a new mum. And you looked after her and saved her from the river. I don't know what I'd do without you. Come on, let's go back to the farm. What about Buzz and Rev? They can stay stuck at the trough. They caused all the trouble in the first place. Rev, you are in big trouble. But if you're very lucky, Tom might tow you home tomorrow. You too, little fella. 
Back in the farmyard, Fee and Matt cleaned and polished Tom. I'm glad we got that lamb sorted out. You know how sheep can be once they get an idea into their heads. Oh, no. Look! <laughs> they all want to be tractor sheep. What are we going to do? I think Tom's just going to have to get used to it. We couldn't do it without you. One morning at Spring Hill Farm, Fee was up bright and early. Today was the day for tidying up the barn. Right, everyone. If we all work hard, we can get the barn looking really nice. Yes, I know you look nice, Tom. It's all this stuff that's the problem. All these logs and bales of hay have to be in neat piles, OK? <laughs> Tom, you need to decide which bit of kit will be best for you to tidy up with. Matt and I'll do that. Come to think of it, where is Matt? He should be here by now. Mmm, <coughs> doesn't sound too good, Rev. I'd better call Fee. Matt, where are... Oh dear, what a shame. Will you be able to fix him? I should think so. I'll need my tools though and I think I left them in the barn yesterday. Yes, I can see them. Tell you what, why don't I bring them up to you? Would you, Fee? That'd be a real help. <laughs> yes, I know you like football. You can play later, but the barn has to be tidied first. Anyway, Buzz, I need you to take me up to Matt's caravan. While I'm gone, you two can carry on. And remember, no football till you've finished. Thanks, Fee. So, what do you think? Hmm, could be his starter motor. I'm going to take it out to check. <coughs> Don't panic, Rev. You won't feel a thing. Meanwhile, Tom and Wheezy were hard at work. <laughs> So they could finish the job quicker, they persuaded Riff and Snicker to help them. <laughs> it wasn't long before everything was piled up neatly. So now Tom and his friends could play... Matt, I'll leave you to it. I'd better see how they're getting on back at the farm. OK, Fee. I'll check in with you later. And uh, now it's Winnie of Farmyard United making a dangerous-looking move. 
<laughs> Spring Hill Rover's goalie Mo is looking nervous. Oh, oh. Riff takes it on her head. <laughs> and it's a goal for Farmyard United. Tom now for Rovers. A lovely pass to Snicker. And he scored! Oh, a beautiful back shot. Let's look at that again. Marvellous, marvellous. Riff now for Farmyard United. She's a lovely little dribbler. Snicker goes in hard. But she beats him. She gets past Tom to... And noses one into the net for another fantastic goal. Now it's Farmyard United 2, Spring Hill Rovers 1. Now Tom's got the ball. He shoots! It's going into the side of the net, but, but wait! Purdy's in the game! Surely it's going to be a goal! Oh, dear! Awful bit of bad luck for Wheezy there. In fact, it looked like bad luck for everyone. Because Fee was almost home, and she would not be happy to find the barn so untidy. Luckily, they were saved by the bell. Oh, hello, Matt. Everything OK? Afraid not, Fee. Turns out Rev needs a new starter motor and there isn't a bus into town for hours. Hey, don't worry. I'll nip into town for you. Are you sure? What about Tom and co and the tidying up? Oh, they'll be fine. They've probably finished by now. But they hadn't finished at all. Instead, they were starting all over again. <laughs> were busy in the barn and Fee was on her way to town, the sheep decided to have their own game of football. was they didn't know how to play properly. And just as Tom finished tidying up the last log... Oh, no! Not again! <laughs> Meanwhile, up at the caravan... Motor. Great stuff, Fee. We'll soon have Rev fixed. OK, Rev, you should be right as rain now. Great! Now we can get back to the farm. They'll probably be playing football by now, and I know these two won't want to miss that. <laughs> Mo and Winnie were keeping a lookout. <laughs> Fee was now ready for a game of football. Hi, everybody. I'm back. Riff, <laughs> Snicker and Tom were just too tired from all that tidying up. Oh dear, sounds like you're all worn out. Here you two, 
See if you can liven things up. Oh, well, that's a great kick from Fee. Bush takes it on the head. Oh, now Rev's got the ball. That's it. Hooray! Go on, Rev. You're a natural. Well, that's lovely ball control from Rev. Buzz comes in fast. He's looking for a shot at goal. Come on, Buzz. Oh! Buzz! Buzz! Are you OK? Oh, dear. I've got an awful feeling about this. Buzz, speak to us. Say something. <laughs> I think he'll live. Shame about all this mess, though. Oh, don't worry about that. Everyone knows what to do. They'll soon have it tidied up again. <laughs> we couldn't do it without you. It was harvest time at Spring Hill Farm, and Wheezy, the combine harvester, was bringing in the wheat. OK, Wheezy. You can take a break now. <laughs> oh dear, Tom. It looks like rain. <laughs> and there'll be loads of wheat to take to the barn. I'd better get Matt and Rev to help us. <laughs> Hi, Fee. You need a hand? We'll be right over. OK, Rev, we've got to go. Yes, I know you're all dirty, but you can have a wash later. Besides, there's no point in cleaning you up now. There's going to be a storm. Just listen to that thunder. We all know what sheep don't like. Thunder. Hi, Fee. What do you want us to do? We need to take all the wheat to the barn before it rains. Can Rev help Tom out? Of course. I'll load him up. Rev and Tom decided to have a race. First one to the barn wins. <laughs> Meanwhile, Fee had spotted something strange. Goodness! There's a sheep in that hedge. There's one stuck in that fence, too. And there's another one up that tree. They're everywhere. They must have been frightened by the thunder. Right. We'd better round them up. Come on, Riff. <laughs> Rev soon left Tom behind and decided he could have a wash in the stream and still have time to win the race. But Snicker the Foal was grazing nearby and he was ready for a bit of fun. <laughs> Suddenly, Rev remembered the race. <laughs> Uh, 
so Tom won the race and went into the barn to disconnect his trailer. Rev lost. He was rather upset. <laughs> Tom tried to cheer Rev up. But if there was one thing Rev hated more than being dirty, it was coming second. Meanwhile, Fee, Matt and Riff were having a bit of trouble too. Ah, there she is. Go on, Riff. This way, Matt. <laughs> Over there, in the corner. But she, how, I mean, she was just, oh, never mind, on to the next one. <laughs> what does she think she is, a bird? Don't worry, I'll get her. Nothing but trouble. But between them, Fee, Matt and Riff managed to round up some of the sheep. Right, now for the last one. <laughs> How can we get her off Mo's back safely? Simple. Sit, Mo. Sit. It's easy when you know how. Finally, Fee, Matt and Riff managed to get all the sheep together in one place. And while Riff sorted them out, Fee and Matt went back to the wheat field. Wheezy had another load of wheat ready, but there was no sign of Tom and Riff. Where are they? They should be back by now. Rev was dawdling along. He didn't want anyone to see him all muddy and mucky. Riff was taking the sheep back to their own field. Just as it started to rain. Rev ended up all messy and streaky. But then Tom saw Riff with the sheep, and he had a great idea. Riff wondered what on earth the sheep were up to. And then he realised. And before you could say car wash, Rev was clean and shiny again. Tom's idea had worked. Bit of luck, Fee. It was just a shower. Yes, but we still need to get the rest of the wheat under cover. Where are those two? Ah, here they are. Whoa, you look great, Rev. Who washed you? <coughs> Some sheep? How did they manage that? <coughs> Never mind. Tell me later. We've got work to do. <coughs> OK, you two. Off you go. <coughs> A 
Another race, eh? Just remember, the main thing is to get the wheat home safe and dry. What's up, Rev? You're giving Tom a start? That's a first. But it was true. Rev was so grateful to Tom that he let him win the race again. Although, he did make sure he won the next one. We couldn't do it without you. It was a very windy day at Spring Hill Farm. What terrible weather. We won't get much work done today. The apples are blowing off the trees. The hay's blowing off the haystack. Ooh, and the sheep think they can fly. <laughs> so you're much better off staying inside for now. Where Wheezy was telling a long story. Buzz was bored, but Wheezy went on and on. So Buzz decided to see how bad the wind really was. Buzz thought the wind was great. It was almost like flying. Maybe he could fly. An extra strong gust of wind caught him and Buzz really was flying. dropped, and so did Buzz. Tom was worried about Buzz. Where had he got to? He had to tell Fee that Buzz was missing. What's wrong, Tom? Has the wind blown something away? Is it Buzz? Oh, no, look! Back's all on his own. What's happened to Whack? He's blown away, has he? We'll just find Whack, then we'll look for Buzz. We'll get Matt to help too. I'll phone him. Hello? Oh. Hi, Fee. Right, I'll come right away. Duck trouble. Mo was enjoying the windy day. But Buzz wasn't enjoying the windy day at all. The wind's blowing this way, so Whack must be round here. Oh, no! Poor Whack! What am I going to do? Maybe the wind will help. Now we can look for Buzz. What is it, Winnie? Think hard. Have you lost Snicker? Yes. You have lost him. Where can he be? Dum, 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 dum. The wind's blown the gate open. Don't worry, Winnie. We'll find Snicker. Come on, Rev. Work to do. Rev didn't want to go out in the bad weather, so he pretended that he'd broken down. <laughs> Oh, no! Snicker was in the orchard. Ow! What's wrong, Snicker? 
Did an apple hit you as well? No. Did you fall over? <laughs> have you been eating green apples? <laughs> oh, yes, you have. And they've made you feel sick. <laughs> we'll take you back to the stables. Tom, we'll need your trailer. I can't understand why you won't start. There's nothing wrong with you. <laughs> I'll have to try something else. There was certainly something wrong with Buzz, and he was hoping that someone would find him soon. This ought to do it. <gasps> have you got a better idea? You're not to eat any more apples. <laughs> right. Now we'll look for Buzz. <laughs> What's wrong, Riff? She wants us to go with her. Come on then, Tom. I know it's not raining, but this is a great idea. Trust me. Is something wrong with the hens, Riff? <laughs> Purdy had gone into the hen house to get out of the wind. But how do we make Purdy come out? Oh, I'm not ready yet, but this really is a very good idea. Promise. Whoa! Ow! Milk, Purdy. the last milk we've got. And we won't have any more until Matt milks Mo. Where is he? That should do the trick. Wait, I'm not ready yet. Oh no, not the hill. I'm going to have to milk you today. Matt's just too slow. Ah! Mm, the wind's picking up again. <laughs> What's wrong now? Hey, you sound just like Buzz when you do that. I've told you not to do that. <laughs> oh, no. It is Buzz! Oh! How are we going to get him down? Careful! Matt? I had this great idea that wasn't such a great idea. No, you're a genius. Am I? Tom, go and get loads of hay from the haystack. Mo, you just keep out of the way. And Matt, can you move Rev? You don't mind if I use your umbrella, do you? While Tom fetched the hay, Fee climbed the tree. And it's not easy with this thing. I thought Rev had broken down. So did I, but he was just being naughty. What are you doing? Making a parachute for Buzz, of course. <laughs> not yet. The hay is not in position. Good work, Tom. Buzz is saved. 
Later that day, Fee and Matt checked that they'd found all the animals. The hens, Whack and Back. Snicker and Winnie. Mo, Purdy, Riff. Have we forgotten anyone? The sheep. Oh, no! Buzz had a very long story to tell about his adventures that day. And he went on and on and on. Until Tom and Wheezy were fast asleep. By then, Fee and Matt had found the sheep. I supposed to sleep. You could try counting sheep. Oh no. We couldn't do it without you. It was all set to be another busy day at Spring Hill Farm. Fee was going to bring in the harvest with Wheezy, but just as she was having breakfast. Oh no. The sheep have got out again. Come down at once, you two. You know you're not allowed up there. <coughs> oh, dear. This could take all day. I'd better call Matt. Hi, Fee. The sheep? Again? Oh, they must have formed an escape committee. Don't worry. Riff and I will sort them out. But Riff was already doing some sorting out of her own. Whenever she saw anything lying around, she tidied it away. Sometimes in the strangest places. Right, what else? Ah, feed Purdy. That's funny. Where's your bowl? How weird. Oh, well, at least I've got a spare one. Ah, that'll be Rev and Matt. So, two of the woolly hooligans were up on the cow shed, you say? Yes, but they're probably miles away by now. OK, I'd better go and find them then. Seen Riff lately? Here she is now. <laughs> By the way, the fields are muddy. You'll need your Wellingtons. OK, bye. Wellingtons, Wellingtons. That's strange. I'm sure I left them here to dry off. Why is everything going missing today, Purdy? Wheezy was usually full of life at harvest time, but today he'd woken up feeling a bit funny. <laughs> Meanwhile, Riff was rounding up everything in sight. No harvesting for you today, Wheezy. Tom will have to tow you back to the farm. <laughs> Once Tom had towed Wheezy back, he went to get his trailer. Hi, Matt. Bit of an emergency. Can you meet me back at the farm? OK, I'll be there in a minute. I've just got a couple more sheep to round up. The thing is, they've discovered pogo sticks. Lucky I've got a plan. Matt had built a funnel on the back of Rev so that he could catch the sheep. The trouble was that the sheep just weren't jumping high enough to catch. But Matt knew how to change all that. Do you call that jumping? I've seen hedgehogs jump higher than that. By now, the sheep were jumping high enough for Matt to catch them but they were still in the middle of the field. Matt needed to get them to come over to the gate. I know what. 
Well, you might be jumping a bit higher, but you're not going very fast. <laughs> okay, Rev, let's go. Do you call that fast? I've seen worms go quicker than that. Go for it, Rev. Show them what you're made of. Gotcha! Poor old Wheezy was fed up. He felt he'd let Fee down. Buzz tried to cheer him up. But it was no good. Wheezy felt completely useless. Hi, Fee. Hi, Matt. Where's Riff? Last time I saw her, she was rounding up ducks. So, what's the problem then? It's Wheezy, Matt. He broke down in the road. Inside the barn, Wheezy could just about hear what Fee and Matt were saying. I don't think he's going to be able to do the harvesting. <laughs> don't worry, we'll borrow Farmer Allsop's combine harvester and we'll take a look at Wheezy tomorrow. I'm sure we can fix him up. Wheezy was still trying to hear what Fee and Matt were saying when... <laughs> I'll probably be able to get them second hand. You mean from the scrapyard? Because of all the noise, Breezy only heard one word scrapyard. <laughs> he thought Fee was going to scrap him. Buzz was sure there was some mistake. But Wheezy wouldn't listen. He decided there was only one thing he could do. Run away. Rev didn't know why Wheezy wanted a tow, but he did like to show off his strength. Fee had started harvesting with Farmer Allsop's combine harvester. But when Wheezy saw them, he felt very sad. <laughs> Tom wondered where Rev and Wheezy were going to. But they'd gone before he could ask. Meanwhile, Fee and Matt had gone back to the yard to speak to Rev. Ah, oh, Tom, there you are. You haven't seen Rev anywhere, have you? Gone off with Wheezy? Why would he do that? Oh, no! Wheezy thought we were going to send him to the scrapyard. Rev's helping him run away. We've got to stop them. OK, Tom, off you go. Cut across the fields. got there just in time. Oh, Wheezy, thank goodness you're back. How could you think I'd ever replace you? And thanks for bringing him back, Tom. I don't know what I'd do without you. Just what we need, a nice cup of tea. OK, Purdy, I know it's your tea time too. Oh, no. Your bowl has disappeared again. And I think...
think I know where it's gone. Let's see what else you've hidden away. Gosh, look at all that stuff. I know a good way of getting this lot out. You're tickling him. <laughs> Stick to rounding up sheep. We couldn't do it without you. It was a rather special day at Spring Hill Farm. Fee was expecting an important parcel. Ah, that'll be the delivery man. It's a surprise for Tom. It was a special day for Matt too. He was getting ready for the big sports day in Beckton. <sighs> there, Tom. A mower attachment. What do you think? <laughs> Great. Let's go and try it out. Nice work, Tom. We'll have the job done in no time. Oh, there's Matt. Yoo-hoo! Matt! <laughs> He's in the sports day at Beckton this afternoon. Looks like he's doing a bit of last minute training. Thanks for pacing me, Rev. I'll just loosen up with a bit of weightlifting and I'll be ready to take on anyone. Time, Tom. Let's get back to the farm. Oh, you want to wish Matt good luck? Good idea. Hi, Matt. Oh, hi, Fee. We came to wish you luck. You should do well with all that training you've been doing. Don't you think, Tom? But Tom wasn't listening. He'd never seen anyone lifting weights before. Tom? Oh. Well, I'll do my best. Are you going to come and cheer me on? Of course we are. We'll be along as soon as we finish the mowing. See you later. While Fee was having lunch, Tom decided to do a bit of training himself. long before everyone was joining in Tom's Keep Fit session. Goodness me! What's going on? 
keeping fit, eh? Don't worry, Tom. If you want some exercise, we've still got plenty of mowing to do. Later on, Matt was just setting off to Beckton when... Oh, hi, Jerry. We were just setting off. A burst water pipe? You're joking. Oh, OK. Well, thanks for letting me know. Can you believe it? The ground's been flooded. No sports day. That mower attachment's great, isn't it, Tom? <coughs> we finished much earlier than usual. You deserve to take the rest of the day off. <coughs> Matt? Are you sure? You're right. Why is he still here? He should have left ages ago. Hey, Matt. What's going on? Shouldn't you be at the sports meeting? It's been called off. The ground's flooded. Oh, no. What a shame. After all that training, too. Ah, well, not to worry. There's always next year. <laughs> What's that, Tom? Have our own sports day? What a great idea! What do you think, Matt? Sounds good to me, but where would we hold it? You're right! We've got the perfect place for it. It's nearby, it's nice and flat, and the grass has been cut beautifully. Ta-da! Welcome to Grassing Field and the first Spring Hill Farm Sports Day. Excitement's mounting as the contestants line up for the first event, the 100 metres. The starter raises her starting pistol and... They're off! Wheezy hurdles into the lead while the other contestants are less quick off the mark. In fact, Mo's going backwards, so it's neck and neck between Winnie and Purdy for second place. Wheezy's still in the lead. Can he keep it up? Yes, as Winnie eats grass, Purdy falls asleep and Mo chews the cud. Ooh. The winner is Wheezy! <laughs> Spoon race now, ready to start as soon as as soon as we have some eggs. Any moment now. And yes, we have three eggs. <laughs> They're off. And Riff quickly takes a commanding lead. But Riff seen some stray sheep. She can't resist rounding them up. Oh dear, she's out of the race. Now, Snickers spotted something, a, a bowl of sugar lumps. Oh, he couldn't pass up on the sugar lumps. And he leaves the field free for Fee to win the egg and spoon race. Whee! Oh dear, bit of bad luck for Rev there. Now Rev and Buss are at the starting line and it's a grudge match between these two speedy machines. Rev's got the power and he's pulling ahead. Buzz is falling behind. But wait, he's made a brilliant tactical move. Rev's made a big mistake. And Buzz bounces ahead to cross the line first. Now we go over to the six-legged race. They're off! Oh dear, a technical hitch as two competitors get stuck together. And, well, we'll have to check the rules here. But I think we can safely call that a dead heat. Now the final event of the day, the shot put. Featuring the mighty power of Tom and Matt. Matt throws first. Whoa! Whoa! Now it's Tom's 
tap. Oh dear, it's going off course. So, Matt wins the shot put, while Tom finishes the sports day by beating the all-time speed record. And now, Matt, for winning the shot put, I'd like to present you with this magnificent cup. Thanks, Fee. I needed that. And I'd like to thank Fee for organising the sports day. Three cheers for Fee. Hip hip, hooray! <laughs> hip hip, hooray! <laughs> hip hip, hooray! <laughs> Don't thank me, thank Tom. If he hadn't mown the field so quickly, we wouldn't have had anywhere to hold it. Oh, Tom, what would we do without you? We couldn't do it without you. One morning at Spring Hill Farm, Fee was taking Winnie for a walk. Come on, Winnie. We're supposed to be getting you fit. But all you want to do is eat. <laughs> it's not doing you any good. You need some exercise. <laughs> hey, well done, Riff. You and Purdy have given me an idea about how Winnie can keep fit. Tom! I need some jumps for Winnie. <coughs> Jumping is really good for keeping fit. It's just what you need. You want to help too, Buzz? <coughs> I'm sorry. You're a bit too small. This really is a job for Tom. <coughs> Come on, Winnie! Has she gone? Good. Can you keep a secret? Today I'm going to paint Fee's house but I want it to be a surprise for her. So don't tell her. And I don't need any help. In the barn, Wheezy was telling Buzz that a small machine like him couldn't do all the jobs on the farm. But Buzz was fed up with being told that he was too small to do things. Oh no, the paint's gone everywhere. In the paddock, Tom had built the first jump. There you are, Winnie. Try it out. Go on. <laughs> What's wrong? Is it too high? <laughs> No, Snicker. You're too small. You'll hurt yourself. The jump's too big even for Winnie. It's really not for little horses like you. <laughs> right, Tom. Let's build another jump. Out of the way. I'm trying to mop up. <laughs> now I've cleared up all that mess, perhaps I can start painting Fee's house. Buzz and Snicker were both cross. They were always left out because they were little, so they decided that they would build some jumps of their own. Buzz was just as good at building jumps as Tom. And Snicker was much better than Winnie at jumping over them. Is this 
that's one too big, too. <laughs> we'll have to look for something else. <laughs> oh, yes, we do. <laughs> Tom's got an idea. <laughs> Snicker and Buzz soon got bored of having just one little jump, and so they went to look for something bigger. Make a good jump. Well done, Tom. At last, I've got started. Nothing's going to stop me now. Snicker and Buzz saw the big drums of paint on the back of Rev. They'd make great jumps. <laughs> to paint the farm house, not the whole farm. Well, at least I can follow them. <laughs> you two, you're going to help clear up all this mess you've made. chased Buzz and Snicker all round the farm. Ow! I've hurt my foot! Help! There's no point hiding. You're going to do some jumping. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Are you saying you can't jump? <laughs> what is it, Tom? <laughs> Look, Winnie can jump. <laughs> I'll go and make sure she's all right. Tom, can you get Rift to round up the sheep? There was chaos in the farmyard. But before Tom could do anything, Buzz and Snicker arrived. They needed help for Matt. You were just pretending that you couldn't jump, weren't you? Let's go back to the paddock and try again. Tom, can you help me? Thank you. But what am I going to do about all the mess in the farmyard? The sheep had made up a new game and were painting the house at the same time. But they were making the mess a lot worse. <laughs> Can you take me back to the farmyard? There's something I've got to do before Fee sees me. Hi, Matt. What's wrong? Bit of a twisted ankle. Nothing too bad. Wait. I'll take a look at it. <laughs> Buzz and Snicker knew that they'd been very naughty, but maybe there was something they could do to help. Snicker found Riff. <laughs> She rounded up the sheep. Buzz went to ask Wheezy for some help. What have you been doing all day? Nothing. You really need a bandage for this foot. I'll get one from the house. Uh, no! Don't be silly. 
Buzz had turned Wheezy into a cleaning up machine. The yard. What's happened there? It's all my fault. Let's go and have a look. Wheezy finished just in the nick of time. <gasps> Matt! You painted the house! Did I? Thank you! No problem. I'll get that bandage. Is this something to do with you two? I suppose you are big enough to do some things. Well done. But we couldn't do without Tom. <laughs> See? Winnie can jump. As long as she gets a little help from the sheep. I've got to own up about something. It wasn't me who painted the house. Then who was it? I don't know. But hasn't that sheep got paint on her wool? Oh, no. You didn't let the sheep have the paint. Sorry. It was a busy day at Spring Hill Farm. Fee and Tom had dug a new ditch. No, Buzz, this is too hard for you. They pulled a tree stump out of the ground. Buzz, you're in the way. And they'd stopped Mo eating the haystack. <laughs> Buzz, go home. <laughs> and Tom took Matt his shopping too. Did I leave this at the farm? Oh. What would we do without you? So Tom was very tired when he got back to the barn that night. Wheezy told Buzz that Tom worked too hard. But Buzz was cross because he hadn't been allowed to work at all. Tom got all the best jobs on the farm. And Buzz didn't like it. So he came up with a very naughty plan. He needed some help from the hens. Next day, Farmer Fee was up bright and early. And she didn't notice that Buzz was giving the hens an extra big breakfast. Come on, Tom. It's going to be another busy day. What's wrong, Tom? You can't start. You've never broken down before. What am I going to do? Maybe Matt can help. Hello? Hi, Fee. I'll be straight over. Fee had a lot of work to do, but how could she manage without Tom? I suppose I'll have to use Buzz instead. Do you think you could do Tom's jobs for today? <laughs> to start off with, we have to move the sheep, so you'll need the trailer. Come on, Buzz. Oh dear, we'll have to move the
the sheep one by one. So Buzz moved the sheep one at a time. Oh dear. This could take some time. Not feeling too well? Oh, we'll have you fixed in no time. Hmm, <coughs> well, almost no time. I know, I'll get Rev to help. This isn't going very well, is it? They're still all here. Maybe we should try moving the hay bales. I'm sure you can do that. OK. Rev will tow you up to the top of Beckton Hill and then we'll bump start you. Hey, don't worry. It's a great idea and it's bound to get you working again. Are those bales too big for you? We need to move them into Moe's field. Matt had taken Tom to the top of Beckton Hill. Now, don't do anything until I've tidied up this tow rope. Rev thought he'd give Tom a helping hand. Hey, come back! should try some ploughing. You really have broken down. You'll just have to wait with Wheezy in the barn until we can find out what's wrong with you. It's no use, Buzz. You just aren't strong enough. <coughs> what's that? <coughs> It's coming from the brambles. Look, that poor hen's stuck. Help! Now I'm stuck. It's no good. Go and get Tom. What's the big rush, little fella? What's wrong? Has something happened to Fee? Tom can't help. He's still broken down. What are you doing? Is there something in the hen house? These wires are from Tom's engine. How did they get here? Never mind. At least we can fix Tom now. Help! Help! No, Mo. No kisses. And I love you, too. That should do the trick. Hold on, I'll come with you. Follow that tractor. You are no help at all. And don't you dare kiss me again. help me. And thanks for mending him, Matt. I had a bit of help from Buzz. But maybe he had something to do with Tom breaking down in the first place. 
I thought so. Well, Buzz, we'll have to have a little talk about that later on. But right now, you and Tom have got a whole day's work to do. I think Buzz asked the hens to take that wire out of Tom's engine and hide it in their house. Why did he do that? So he could do all Tom's work and feel really important. All finished? Well done. That's a whole day's work in two hours. Having a day off has done him the power of good. No, Tom doesn't like days off. And we don't like him having days off either. No, we just can't do without him. Where are you going, Buzz? I've got one more really important job, especially for you. That evening, as Tom settled down to sleep in the barn, and Fee and Matt had their tea, I know Buzz was naughty, but are you being fair? Yes. Stopping the sheep from causing trouble is one job that he's just right for. We couldn't do it without you. It was a rather special day at Spring Hill Farm. Because that night, V was having a bonfire party. Everyone was taking it easy, so they'd be ready for the big celebration. Tom had one little job to do. Take an old cupboard to put on the bonfire. It's had it, Tom. It's full of woodworm. Still, we'd better check there's nothing in it. Oh, wow! Look at these old photos. This must be my granddad. He was a soldier, you know. Just look at all his medals. He must have been really brave. Good job we found these, Tom. Grandad didn't leave much to remember him by. I'm going to put them somewhere safe. Meanwhile, Matt was getting ready to spend the morning on his new hobby. It's a metal detector, Rev. You use it to look for metal things. Sorry, Rev. Must have had it turned up too high. The thing is, you might find valuable things like coins and jewellery and... Um, bottle tops. Well, you have to start somewhere. Well, break it up, Tom. Well done. That'll burn nicely. Hang on. What's that? Well, whatever it is, it's not going to open. I suppose we'd better take it home with us. I'm going to have my lunch, Tom. See you later. The box? Well, I don't suppose it's anything important. Just put it in the barn for now. Meanwhile, Matt was still searching for treasure. <coughs> ah, that's more like it. Now we're getting somewhere. It's got to be gold this time. Oh, yes! Oh, no! Oh, 
rua. Everyone wondered what was in the box. Buzz was all for trying to open it. And even Wheezy was curious. So everyone had a go. No matter what they did, the box wouldn't open. But they did find something. Matt still thought he was going to make his fortune. You never know what you might come up with. <laughs> you won't laugh when I find some gold coins or a diamond ring. See, there's something now. And it could be worth loads. <laughs> We're going to be rich. I can buy a new CD player. Whoa, this is going to be big, Rev. I can feel it. <laughs> oh, too big. I need some help. Tom, you've got it. Wow, look at that. It's... it's... an old bath. <laughs> well, I'm off. And you can do what you like with that silly, rotten, smelly old bath. The sheep knew exactly what to do with the old bath. Wheezy and Buzz were showing Fee what they'd found. These are my granddad's initials. The box must have belonged to him. And look, there's a keyhole. I can hear something clinking. Oh, if only we knew where the key was. <laughs> Tom thought he knew where the key might be, but no luck. It was like looking for a needle in a haystack. Tom would just have to think of something else. Later that day, Matt went to check the bonfire. Do you know, I could have sworn I just saw that rusty old bath moving. I did see that rusty old bath moving, all on its own. Help! I didn't mean to call you a smelly old bath. I didn't mean it when I said you were rotten and smelly and silly. Oh, oh, my goodness, I should never have dug you up. You should only dig up worms or vegetables or weeds. Help! I'm being chased by an old tin bath. Tom, save me! <laughs> It's a sheep! Hey, what's all the noise about? I thought this was supposed to be a bonfire party. It is now. <laughs> the fireworks were fantastic, but Tom was rather sad. He was sure that the key to the mysterious box was now lost forever, somewhere in the bonfire. Or was it? Tom had an idea, but it would have to wait till the next day. 
So, in the morning, Tom picked Matt up. Well, I know I owe you a favour, Tom, for saving me from that old bath, but you want me to look for treasure here? Well, if you insist, Tom, but this is just a load of ashes from the bonfire. There won't be anything here. I think I know what Tom's idea is. Hang on. What's this? Careful! It might still be hot. Oh, wow! Gently does it. Hmm, like I thought. No treasure. No treasure? But what have we here? <laughs> Much better than treasure. Grandad's medals. Look, Matt. They're quite something. He must have been a pretty brave man, your Grandad. Yes, he was. And to think his medals nearly ended up on the bonfire. Well, at least my metal detector turned out to be some use. But it was Tom's idea, you know. If it hadn't have been for him, the key would have been lost forever. Tom, you saved the day again. What would I do without you? We couldn't do it without you. It was a cloudy day at Spring Hill Farm. Matt arrived for work. Hi, Matt. Your music's very loud. Sorry, can't hear you. The music's too loud. Look, Tom and I have been invited to take part in the Beckton Carnival today. <laughs> Great! No, it's not. We can't go. We have to pick all the carrots before it rains, or they'll be ruined. <laughs> No. Why don't you and Rev go? You can take our place. Come on, Tom. We've got carrots to pick. Go and get your trailer. <laughs> Matt knew that Fee and Tom really wanted to go to the carnival. But what could he do? Hey! You are brilliant! You've given me a great idea. Why don't we have our own carnival here? Matt explained his idea to Tom. I need you to keep Fee away from the farm until I can get everything organised. And don't tell her. Right, I need loads of help. Everyone, come to the barn. Come on, Tom. You can go faster than this. While Fee went to pick carrots, Matt got everyone else together to organise the Spring Hill Carnival. Are you ready to party? <laughs> Come on, what are we going to do? Someone must have some ideas. No, Purdy, we can't all have a nice long nap. No, Wheezy. Not stories about the old days on the farm. This is carnival. Music, dancing, fancy dress. Snicker was getting <laughs> bored already, so he decided to sneak away. OK, we'll start with the hens. You're going to dance. We'll make you some costumes. <laughs> Fee had started to pick carrots. Snicker came to see what was going on. And he was pleased that he had. Snicker loved carrots. Don't be too long. We've got lots to do. 
no, they're skirts, not hats. Snicker, have you been eating my carrots? <laughs> oh, yes, you have. That's very naughty. <laughs> Come back. I could paint you black and white. Then you'd be a carnival zebra. <laughs> Just a joke. <laughs> Will you two stop fighting? <laughs> Hold on. That sounds good. Anyone here know how to play the steel drums? <laughs> ah. Snicker's gone back to the farmyard. Perhaps we can finish picking these carrots now. Tom, come on. We haven't got all day. What is it? A chair? Who dumped that there? We'd better take that back to the farm. What are we going to do with you? Uh -huh. I know. Put on all your cowbells. Uh -huh. Where have you been, Snicker? I hope you've come up with a good idea for what you're going to do in the carnival. <laughs> no, you can't just eat sugar lumps. Tap dancing. Go and practice. <laughs> Careful, you'll break something. To keep you out of trouble, I'm going to make you Carnival Princess. All you have to do is ride on Buzz and wave to people. <laughs> Go and practice. Your mission, should you wish to accept it, is to find something for the sheep to do. done. Now we can go back to the farm and have a nice cold drink. Tom knew that Matt wouldn't be ready yet, but what could he do to keep Fee away from the farm? Hey, Tom! This isn't the way back to the farm. Are you sure this will work? Good luck. <laughs> Right, that's everyone ready for the carnival. <laughs> Except Wheezy. We've been all round the farm, checked all the gates are closed, tidied up all the rubbish. What is it now? It's only an old feed sack. We can leave that till tomorrow. <laughs> all right. I'll pick it up. Do you understand what you have to do? <laughs> Great. What is it, Buzz? <laughs> Fee and Tom are coming. OK. Now, hide, everyone. Remember, this is supposed to be a surprise. Why are you being such a slow coach, Tom? Matt? What are you doing here? Why aren't you at the carnival? Change of plan. You couldn't go to the carnival, so we're going to have the carnival here. Everyone's going to join in. That's amazing! Thanks, Matt. Tom wants to know if we can join in. Of course you can. You're the carnival queen. And Tom... Well, Tom... He's your tractor. He knew about this, didn't he? That's why he was being so slow all day. Dun, 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 dun. That's right. What would we do without him? Come on. Time to turn you into a queen. Is Queen Fee ready to start her carnival? You bet. Let the good times roll. Wait! What are you going to do, Matt? Me? I forgot about me. I know. I'll watch. Welcome 
to the Spring Hill Farm Carnival. Meet our amazing samba dancing hens riding on Rev, the chicken disco. And on cowbells, the one and only mellifluous musical Mo. Now welcome those two tap dancing hot shoe hoofers, Winnie and Snicker. And please wave to the carnival princess Purdy on her royal buggy, Buzz. Sway to the beat of wagon back on the steel drum. Here's Wheezy, and what's that? Clouds of colourful confetti. And who's this? Riff, at the head of the sheep marching band. And finally, a very big hand for the stars of the carnival. Queen V and Tractor Tom. Just when it was all going so well. Don't worry, Matt. It's the best carnival we've ever been to. <laughs> Let's do it again next year. No way. And you know what's the best thing of all? I got all the carrots picked before it started to rain. Yeah. <laughs> 